Cream Line, babawian ang Petrogas Angels. Brooke Van Sickle may banta sa CCS. One lose away laglag na ang Cream Line sa finals game. Tots Carlos balik na ulit sa Cream Line. Bongga ka-hype, this is me, your QJ, the new spreader for today's video. Bagong tinyo sa manal, please support this channel by clicking like, share, subscribe, and spike the notification bell para maging updated ka sa hype ganap sa Pinas. Sa kanika nilang mga laban ay naging pasabong na nga ang mga teams according to their game results, kung saan ay nagpakita nga ng husay ang bawat kupunan. Creamline Cole Smasher gives a high performance kontra sa kanilang sister team na CMFT at ipinamanas nga ng Creamline kung gaano ay sila kadeterminado pagdating sa semis round. Ipinakita nga ni Valdez na meron pa siyang ibubuga dahil gumawa nga ito ng 21 points in 5 sets. Nagpakita nga dito kung gaano siya ka-effective kung mabibigyan lang siya ng maayos na sets ni Cal Negrito. No Carlos nga at that time para sa cream line but they managed to destroy the CMFT's defense kaya't hirap nga ang OB na mapataob ang cream line ng madalian. Sa pagbabalik ni Tots Carlos sa CCS dahil sa hindi ito napili maging import sa Korea ay sigurado nga babawi ang cream line sa kanilang game kontra sa Petrogas Angels. Kung maalala nga natin ay napataob nga ng Angels ang cream line last eliminations round at hirap na hirap nga dito ang CCS sa kanila at that time. Subalit hindi naman papayag ang cream line na matapos ang conference na ito na hindi nila magagantihan ang Petrogas Angels. Although mahihirapan nga sila dahil sa pagbabalik aksyon ni MJ Phillips na currently are playing with Petrogas Angels this semis at isa sa magiging dahilan kung bakit pinataob nila ang Cherry Tigo. In this case ay magiging mahirap nga para sa CCS na madumihan ang record ng Angels dahil all out na nga ang Petrogas in this game. Sa panayam nga sa kanila after the game ay bibigay na nga nila ang kanilang lahat para mapanatili ang kanilang kupunan sa winning column at para na rin makaapak muli sa finals appearance. Ito nga ang pahayag ng Petrogas Angels after the game nila kontra sa Cherry Tigo. About you, MJ and Brooke, what can you say about the leadership of Aisa? I mean, it's always there. She's a legend for a reason and I think it really showed today. So I'm proud of her. Oh yeah, no, she, she's a fantastic player, and like, everyone kind of looks up to her, she's like kind of like a mom figure in a way too, so it's very, you know, she takes care of everyone on and off the court, so definitely very grateful to be, you know, be able to be teammates with her, so, yeah. Uh, Brooke and MJ, uh, heading to this game, Charlie Lugo had a seven game winning streak, but in the third and fourth sets, uh, it's very telling of you guys have You blew them out. Uh, so, what does that say about this team uh, peaking at the right time, especially with two more semi games? You gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we're just very aware of the situation um, about like what's going on with the semis, and each team is just always going to try to push us against the wall so our mentality is just always being aggressive no matter what and not let them score the points first so yeah being aggressive yeah i would say i mean this is my first semis um so i definitely know like points and sets play a factor in like how you know the finals go and everything like that so Yeah, it's just, it's going to be a tough, tough battle. But any game in the semis, it doesn't matter who it is. Like, it's going to be down to the point, down to, like, you know, it's going to be tough, very tough. And we just have to make sure, like, we continue to focus on our side and take care of our business. Like, when we all come together and very collectively just, like... I'm just so thankful for my patients, uh, my coaches and teammates who are very patient with me. Um, I'm honestly just taking it day by day and uh, hopefully uh, reap the benefits of it. And for Brooke, you're all raising the bar for yourself, for Um, These teams are very scrappy, they're very good at defense and they're going to put up a fight for sure and I feel like I mean, I, I made a, a decent amount of errors today. It wasn't, you know, it is what it is. Um, but coming out for next game, just try to stay aggressive. I feel like uh, every player that steps on the court, everyone wants it. Everyone wants to win. Everyone's aggressive. Like, I need to match that and continue to give full effort and like 100% swinging every single time. So that is the game plan. <laughs> just hit the ball. Solid game plan. Solid. What 
can you say about uh, rejoining the team and and it seems like that you're fitting in? I mean, um, yeah, I was here before and I just feel like I've connected with some of the veterans on the team and I think that trust is still carrying on to like right now. Um, still a lot of improvement that needs to be done. Um, so hopefully we can find that connection right away and continue our wins. So hanggang dito na lang muna mga ka-spike Kung may komento ka, ilatag mo na yan sa ating comment section Salamat sa pagtutok mga ka-spike Sana nag-enjoy ka at sana di ko na sayang oras mo Kaya't don't forget to like and subscribe Salamat sa suporta